Welcome back fellow creators. Today we dive into the captivating world of the sequencer in Unreal Engine. In this video we'll explore one of the most powerful tools at our disposal, the fade effect. Whether you want to smoothly transition between scenes, create dramatic fades to black, or add a touch of cinematic flair, the fade effect will be your secret weapon. Get ready to learn how to master this essential feature and elevate the impact of your storytelling. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So we are in an exterior project that we've already worked on it in previous videos and I've just created two sequencer for this project and let me just show you them. The first one is the stand number one sequencer and let's just change the camera to see how this sequencer work. And as you can see, it just has a simple vertical movement of the camera and just like that, nothing special here. And let's take a look to the other sequencer that we got here. And again, let's change the camera to see how sequencer work. And this one also got a simple rotating movement with some focus on it. So nothing special here again. But we want to combine these two sequencers together and add some flares to them. So in this regard, I am going to create a new sequencer called Let's just name it as master. I already have a master sequencer, so let's name it master number two. So instead of adding cameras to the sequencer, I'm going to add this shot track option to my sequencer. And here I can add the sequencer that I've created in the project. So let's add the stand number one sequencer. And as you can see, we got it in our master sequencer. So let me just change the camera and let's play the master sequencer and you can see that we got it here but i think it might be needed to increase the number of frames to cover all the frames completely and after that it's time to add the other sequencer with the rotating movements and let's stick it to the first sequencer but i think it would be better to put it right beneath the number one and let me just take a look quickly to ensure that everything is okay and yeah everything seems just fine and now it is time to add the fade track the flavor of transition between the sequencers that i was talking about and let me just increase the size of this part of the sequencer so i can better work on the frames individually and now, as you can see, I set the time slider on the first frame and let's add a keyframe with the amount of one to the fade effect. And I am going to add another keyframe, for example, here. And let's add another keyframe with the amount of zero of fade effect. And the reason that we set the fade effect in this way is that we want to transition gradually from a completely dark frame to a normal brightness, for example, in half of a second. But in this case, it's just happening too fast, so it might be needed to move the keyframes a bit further. And let's see the result. It looks good, but maybe a bit more to exaggerate it. And it's much more better now so let's add another fade effect to the ending phase of this sequence so let's put the time slider for example here and add a keyframe with amount of zero because we want to move our sequence from a clear frame to completely dark frame so i am going to set the first keyframe to zero and after that, let's increase the fade to one and let's continue with the amount of one to the next sequence. And after that, I'm going to decrease the fade effect amount to zero because I want to move from a dark frame to a clear frame in this part of my sequence. So, so as you can see, I just set the keyframes as I explained them to you. So let's see the results. Yes, from clear to dark, and let's change the camera. And here must be from dark to clear, just like that. But let me just move this keyframe a bit further to have more slight 
transition just like that and I'm going to do the same process to the ending phase of this sequencer but before we wrap up let's talk about the advantages of using the fade effect in Oral Engine unlike traditional editing softwares like Premiere Pro using the built-in fade effect in Oral Engine gives you complete control and flexibility right within your project you can fine-tune the timing and duration of your fades effortlessly without the need for exporting and importing. This saves you the time and allows you to stay focused on your creative vision. So embrace the power of Unreal Engine's fade effect and elevate your storytelling with ease. Thank you for joining me and remember to keep exploring and pushing the boundaries of what's possible in Unreal Engine. See you in the next videos.